loves, it's Miss Avi. Welcome to my channel, Hoodoo Delish. Everybody who is new, great to meet you guys, and everybody who is back with me, fantastic to see you again. Today we are doing a super requested spell. This is a Hoodoo Shut Up working. Now, this spell is traditionally used to stop someone from gossip or to stop them from harassing or communicating or otherwise just negative harassing behavior to get them off your back. Um, I'm gonna include a couple of additional techniques here that will help you with some other problems that can go along with when someone is harassing you or gossiping about you. But this spell is super simple and what we're gonna need for it today is a figure candle that matches the gender of the person you're going to be working on, some lavender essential oil, and I'm gonna be using Shut Your Mouth Oil from Holler and Ann Spiritual Supplies, and I'll include a link to her page in the description down below, but you can also use a Tapa Boca Oil, a Shut Up Oil, or a Domination Oil. We're gonna be using alum. You can get this in the spice aisle of most grocery stores. We're also going to be using a Control and Domination Powder from Inexplicable Things. We're using licorice root that has been finely chopped. We're using fresh rose leaves. And we're using good old fashioned salt. So, these are the things we are working with today. And to get us started, I'm gonna talk about the candle first. So, if you take a look at this, you'll see it's kinda got a face from Oh My God Horror Movie. And we also have holes in not just the mouth, but the eyes, the genitals, the right hand, and the right foot, as well as the bottom of the candle. So I'm gonna tell you what to do with all of that here in just a moment. So with this, what you're going to do is start out, and I, I would like to make it clear, because I, I, I know there's gossip online, I'm not doing this spell on anyone. You're gonna hear me praying Jane Doe over this. I just wanna make it abundantly clear that I'm not targeting anybody with this working. Um, but with this work, you're going to take and carve across the back and you want to go from the head down, downwards toward the legs. You're going to carve the target's name nice and deep right down their spine because you want to build this nice, strong connection to them. Now, you can baptize this candle. I don't recommend it because when you baptize a candle and then you go ahead and poke holes in it, that can cause literal physical injury to the person but maybe your situation warrants it. Maybe you wanna baptize it first, put the soul in there, and then poke its eyes out. That's totally up to you. But this will work even without being baptized. So you don't have to go heavy if you don't feel like you need to. But you're gonna write that person's name, and you can add their birthday if you would like to, nice and deep down the spine. I'd recommend carving it in with a little implement like this, and just get that carved in there. That's what you're gonna start with. The next thing we're going to do is load the feet or the bottom of the candle with the licorice root. Now licorice root is used for domination and to control someone and we're putting it in the base of the candle specifically to give us a, a sense of anchoring the person and forcing them to comply. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that in there. Got that licorice root and pack it nice and firmly into that hole in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and pray over it and activate it like this. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this licorice root to make Jane Doe obey my every command in this spell. Let her shut her mouth, her eyes, and follow any and all other instructions that I give her in this candle. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. Setting that aside. Next, we are going to take our domination powder from Inexplicable Things, Control and Domination. I will include a link to this and where you can purchase this one as well. Um, we're gonna tap that in here. Um, you can use another controller dominating powder if you would like to. You can also use powdered cloves. Um, I like the, uh, the blends that are specifically intended for domination a little bit better. They seem, in my opinion, to have a stronger and quicker effect on the target. But we're gonna also pack that down in there. Just kind of tap that in. And again, we're putting this in the foot because we're anchoring this person to our domination. The goal with this is not to control the whole person's whole life. The goal is to gain control of the specific situation where they are harassing us or our family or they are getting in our way. We're not trying to dominate every corner of their life. We're trying to narrow it down to that specific point in time that they're causing problems. And that allows the work to be very light and fast and effective and get them out of the way quickly. 
So we're going to go ahead and activate this powder like so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this control and domination powder. Let it bind Jane Doe to do as I instruct. Let it bind her to my magic so that she is completely controlled by it and follows it quickly, efficiently, and with no resistance or fuss. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Now what I'm going to do here just to seal that up is I'm going to light a secondary utility candle here. And... I get asked fairly frequently, where do I get my candles? Um, at the moment, um, I, I, I've used a bunch of candles, uh, uh, different candle suppliers uh, since I have been working, but at the moment I have been getting my figure candles from Mystical Misty Candles and I've been getting my uh, coach candles like this from Inexplicable Things. So I, I like to support their businesses because they're both small business owners and I, I know and love the people. So we're just gonna seal what we've got in here Oh, there we go. And it takes a little bit of patience just letting the, the wax drip, getting the flame in there so the base of the candle will start to melt too and kind of contribute. And it just fills up. And that will seal it in so that it, it will not burn until we get to the very bottom. Now, one thing I would like to say, you've got dry herbs in the bottom of this candle. When you light this candle up, keep an eye on it. You're going to need to keep an eye on it. That aside over here. I'm just going to give this a minute to cool off. Right there as it forms the skin. Okay, so that is the bottom. Now, other things you can add in here, just depending on what you're dealing with, some hot foot powder if you specifically want the person to go geographically away some goofer dust if you are trying to completely destroy them and their influence in the particular situation that you're working on. All right, so there we go. So now we are gonna go ahead and, oh, that piece fell off, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and talk about the different holes that I have poked here in the base and in the body. In a figure candle, different areas correspond to different functions. The mouth obviously corresponds to talking. The eyes correspond to seeing or spying. So if you want to stop someone from spying on you or stalking you online, we're gonna to wanna to use the eyes. Genitals obviously correspond to sex, fertility, pleasure. The right hand, and it's specifically um, the, the hand that is right facing you, so it would be the candle's actual left hand, but the right hand is power and connection and the ability to do things with their will. The right foot is the ability to go places with their own will. So what we wanna do is seal all of these things up and just, just stop them. So we're going to open up and break out our alum. Now alum is a fascinating thing magically. It specifically contains exactly the same magical energy as it contains uh, in the physical world and that is that it tightens things until they close. Like if you put it in your mouth, it will make your mouth pucker. I don't recommend putting it in your mouth, by the way. Not a pleasant experience. Um, but it will make your mouth pucker. And that's exactly what it does, is it tightens things up until they close. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put alum in each and every single one of these holes, and we're going to pray over it like so. So we're gonna poke that into the mouth. We're gonna, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this alum to make Jane Doe shut her mouth about me. Let her say nothing about me. Let her have no evil words, no positive words, no opinion, no thoughts, no voice, and let her not be heard on the subject of me or my business ever again. And I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Now again, we're gonna take that candle, and we're just gonna put a few drops to seal it in. Giving the wax there. And now we're gonna do the eyes the same way. Just getting alum right into each eye. And working it on down in there. And I definitely recommend having a little piece of paper or something underneath you when you work this, because this one does get just a little messy. And here we go for the eyes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this alum to close Jane Doe's eyes 
Do not let her see me or my business. Do not let her stalk me. Do not let her follow me. Do not let her view me. Do not let her see anything I am doing or be aware of anything that I am planning. Keep her completely unaware of my business. Let me be invisible to her, I pray. And I ask this with the name, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. In Jesus' name, amen. And we're sealing that also with a little bit of wax here. And remember also as you're sealing, especially the eyes with wax, you are literally gluing them shut. That's, that's the magical equivalent here. You are sealing this up. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go for the genitals. And this one is a little bit different. Obviously, you can use it to make someone stop having sex with you personally, although it's usually more effective to just say, no, I don't want to do that in most situations. If you've got a situation where that's not effective, you might want to do this. You might want to shut them up so they're not capable of trying to have sex with you. But this is also very useful in breakup work or in work where you want someone to stop being sexual, period. So we're going to go ahead like this and activate it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this alum to close up Jane Doe's genitals. Do not let her have sex or pleasure from anyone. Do not let her have any sexual contact with any person. No lover of mine, no friend of mine, no person in my circle. Let there be no sex or pleasure in her life, I pray. And I ask this in Jesus' name, with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. Amen. So you can use this just for revenge. You can use it to get someone to kind of slow down what they're doing sexually. You can use it to stop them from being around a particular person sexually. There's a lot of different possibilities for how this one can be used. And we seal it up and seal it in there with wax. Now we're going for her hand. And for the hands, it is best to use them to block someone from doing any harm. That's usually how they get used. So here we go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this alum to block Jane Doe from doing me any harm. Do not let her lift her hand or her finger against me, even I pray, dear Lord. Block her from any action that would cause me ill will, cause me inconvenience, cause me pain, cause me suffering, or cause me damage. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. In Jesus' name, amen. You can also use this to block someone from a more specific action. Um, one of the, this particular technique, not in this spell, but in others, um, I have seen this used specifically to block people um, when they are um, in, in like law stay away work or in works to turn a court case in your favor to block someone from taking action in those areas. So that seems to be particularly effective. So we're going for a foot now. The foot controls where somebody goes of their own free will. So I'm gonna pack that alum into the foot. And we're gonna activate it like so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this alum. Block Jane Doe, I pray, with this alum from coming to my house, coming to my work, coming anywhere around me or those I love. Block her path so that she cannot go near me or mine and cannot cause me any inconvenience or be in my presence, I pray. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. In Jesus' name, amen. And we're going to go ahead and seal that in. All righty. Just close that off over here. Now, she doesn't look any better. <laughs> um, but this is one of the other reasons that I say I, I, don't, I, I don't usually baptize this particular spell uh, unless it's being done as a professional working. Like in my own life, I don't baptize this one because um, I, I feel like it's a little too intense for what usually we want. But again, that is between you and God. You do whatever is right for your situation. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get her all oiled up and we're going to start with the shut your mouth oil. Like I said, you can use a tapa boca oil, you can use another shut up oil, or you can use a domination oil instead of this one. But this one is great. I've used it several times and it's fantastic. So we're going to just 
Clap it open like that. We're gonna put it on the candle and we're just gonna rub, rub it all in and especially get it across the mouth area. You wanna rub that in in particular. And then we're gonna pray over it and activate it like this. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this shut up oil to make Jane Doe close her mouth about me. Close off every path and avenue between me and her so that she can cause me no harm, verbally or otherwise. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. You can also get really specific with that prayer. You can say, don't let Jane Doe talk about my child's father. Don't let Jane Doe talk about my job. You can, you can get really specific, and in this spell, it tends to actually work faster and better when you're very specific with what you want. Now we're gonna take the lavender oil. I'm just gonna put a few drops of that in my hand. Do be cautious using um, pure essential oils on your hands. Some skin can handle it, some skin cannot. Mine seems to do fine, yours may not. Uh, you might wanna use gloves or you might wanna just drop it onto the candle without actually touching it. But I'm gonna work it in here. Just put it on the candle. Lavender is very lightly dominating. It adds sort of a pleasant domination and it usually also kind of masks the fact that there's any domination happening and that's what we're using it for today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this lavender oil. Make Jane Doe with this lavender oil think that this is all her own idea, that she's not interested in talking about me. She's not interested in stalking me on the internet. She doesn't want to come to my house. She doesn't want to sleep with my friends. She doesn't want to do anything to harm me. Let her think it is her own idea and let her have no influence, effect, or power in my life at all whatsoever, I pray. In Jesus' name, with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. Amen. All right. So now we're going to get this onto the plate. Let's just set her up here. go. All right. Now we are going to take our salt and we're just going to circle this like this. Now we are going to be activating this salt specifically to block out interference so that the spell can take quick effect because the goal of this is speed. This is to get someone out of the way and out of your hair as fast as possible. And we don't want the spell to get sidetracked and go start fixing things that maybe need to be fixed but don't need to be fixed right now. So, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this salt. Block out any and all distractions from this spell. Let it do exactly as I ask and nothing more. Let it do only what I request and nothing besides. Block out all distractions, block out all obstacles, block out all contingencies and distractions from it, I pray. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, last but not least, we have our rose leaves. Rose leaves are also dominating. And rose leaves have the interesting little characteristics where they're lightly dominating. They push you in the right direction and then they will bite you if you head in the wrong direction. And they don't do it, they're not super strong either way but they're really strong because of that. And here's what I mean. They push you and they reward you if you go the right way. They make it slightly unpleasant if you go the wrong way, which means you're gonna want to go the right way. They motivate. That's why they're actually very good for a little bit of domination and love work. So here we go with this. We're gonna activate these. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate these rose petals to dominate Jane Doe. Please, Reward and bless her each and every time that she doesn't speak about me when she could, that she doesn't stalk me online when she could, that she doesn't come near me when she wants to, that she doesn't do something to harm me when she thinks she wants to, that she doesn't have sex. Bless and reward her for that. And also, let it bind her, bite her, sting her, and annoy her when she does. If she tries to speak of me, let it make her mouth tingle. If she tries to look at my name, let her eyes burn. If she tries to have sex, let her feel uncomfortable and disgusting. If she tries to lift up her hand against me, let that hand burn. If she tries to come near me, let her foot be glued to the ground. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. I'm just gonna put these around. Going around here. With this spell, it's not particularly important if you go clockwise or counterclockwise, either one will work because domination does not really draw or uh, banish inherently. 
it is still effective either way. Let's get these all layered around here. Beautiful. Okay. All right, there we go. And now we're gonna light her up. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this candle to burn brightly, to bind Jane Doe so that she does not speak about me, does not see me, does not pick up her, her hand in harm against me, does not come towards me or come near me or any of mine, and does not have any sexual influence, control, or experience in my sphere with my friends, with my lovers, or with me. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. And that's what we got, folks. So, I would love to hear your thoughts, comments, traditions, questions. Stick those in the comments down below. Don't forget, if you love this work, to subscribe, ring that bell, it'll let you know when I upload something new. I also do have a fantastic project I am putting together. I'm super excited about it. I'm not sure how many videos it's going to be, but I'm hoping to release like a whole chunk of stuff so that you guys can just binge it and learn a bunch of stuff all at the same time on one particular topic, and I'm really excited about that. So I will be making more announcements about that. Best place to find those announcements is going to be to find me on Instagram, where I'm Hoodoo Delish, on Facebook, when, and we have a Facebook group now. That link will be down below, but it is facebook.com slash groups slash Hoodoo Delish, or on my website, which is hoodoodelish.com. I love you guys very much, and I will see you again later on. Check the description for links, and absolutely give me your comments and your feedback and your traditions. I would love to hear from you. Love you so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.